my youngest some savages running your trap at you up with them packages. Rob you for bricks, but now What's up guys? Today is the first day of school. This week is actually our orientation week, so we're gonna be doing a lot of tours of the school as well as getting familiar with the community. It's about 8.40 right now. Super excited. We got a lot of stuff to do today. I'm gonna try my best to take you guys with me along for the ride, so stay tuned. I'm back at my apartment now. Overall, the day was pretty exciting. I got to meet future classmates, as well as hear tons of presentations from the dean of the school. One of the big things that our school focuses on is actually community service. And I thought it was really cool to see them bring in actual members of the community to give us their perspectives on what it's like to be a patient and how they view patient-doctor interaction. I do believe that community service is important for me to grow as an individual. And I'm really stoked that my school has a huge emphasis on community-based outreach and overall patient care. Also, before we left the first day, they gave us our iPads for the semester. Well, actually, they're for the whole four years of school. Um, and we use these to study on, take tests, I think, and then, yeah, just generally keep them. And so that's pretty cool that our school gave us some free iPads, um, as well as our student ID badges. Mine doesn't actually have my picture on it because we took that before leaving for the first day. but. Um, they should have our student ID cards tomorrow, and yeah, we can use these to get into the hospital, as well as um, late night when we're studying on campus, we can also use these to not get kicked out by security. So the plan right now is to go hit a quick workout session at the gym. I will see you guys the next click. All right, what's up guys? It is currently 6.40 a.m. the next day, and I am walking to the gym right now. Today is the second day of orientation, and so it starts at 8 a.m. Uh, yesterday it started at 9, so I'm headed to the gym early because we don't get done until 7 p.m. today. So I really want to try to get a good workout in because I don't think I'll have the energy to do it after the full day of orientation. In case any of you guys are curious about my workout routine or just what I do to stay fit, basically I do a traditional style bodybuilding uh, training regimen where I train each muscle group um, on different days of the week. So for example, today I'm doing legs and shoulders, but um, tomorrow I would be doing either back or buys or chest and triceps. I feel like for me personally, it's all about consistency and um, intensity. And so I like to have my workout sessions be around 45 minutes to an hour max. And I like to go as heavy as I can on my lifts um, while still implementing proper form. But overall, the major thing I've noticed that has contributed to the majority of my results over the past seven months is consistency with your diet. Even if you're going to the gym every day and you're working hard, when you come home and you don't eat right, your results aren't gonna be the best. Or you might not even get the results that you want because your diet's not on point. So that's why it's important to use tracker apps. And I might make a video about that later on if you guys are interested. So comment down below if you guys wanna see how I manage my calories day to day and just generally stay on top of my diet. Just finished up our second day of orientation. Um, currently walking back to my apartment right now. We actually spent the majority of the day taking a community bus tour, which is actually super cool. Since we took a bus to different parts of town and explored the communities surrounding our medical school. Um, and we got to become familiar with the different programs offered to us for student volunteering and community outreach. One of my favorite parts of the tour was actually going to the Franciscan Clinic, which is um, apparently Chicago's second largest homeless shelter. 
for med students, they actually run a clinic every Tuesdays where we can go and help out and address the needs of the homeless people that live in that area. I can't wait to start volunteering at the clinic and hopefully record some footage so I could show you guys what exactly I do there. But um, the plan right now is to go home, eat some food, and then I'm gonna go shower and go straight to bed because your boy is super tired. But anyways, I'll check in with you guys for day three. All right, what's up guys? It's currently our third day of orientation. Um, it's about 8.15 a.m. and I'm walking to school with my roommate Adam. At first we're gonna take our group class photo and then I'm also gonna pick out my stethoscope so that's pretty exciting. I'll try to take you guys with me, so stay tuned. All right, what's up guys? I'm back at my apartment now. Just got finished at the gym. Um, I hit a good back and bicep workout today. Um, and now I'm just gonna drink this post-workout shake and chill a little bit at home. Today's orientation was actually pretty short. We didn't do too much moving. Instead, we did more uh, listening to presentations and lectures, and that sort of thing. One thing I was really impressed with the school is that they put a huge emphasis on student support. So today they told us about a ton of programs that they have um, for students that are struggling in school, either mentally, physically, or just need the resources to help them do better in school. I'm definitely thankful that there are resources available for me if I were to be struggling or just going through a hard time uh, psychologically. Um, you know, the world's unpredictable, life hits you, it's good to know that there's somebody to turn to or there's someone willing to listen to your problems, so definitely thankful for that. Also, before I left campus today, um, I got to go and choose my stethoscope. Our school's alumni association actually hooked us up with free stethoscopes this year, just super nice. I actually thought I was going to go out and have to buy my own. They came in clutch with the free scopes, so super excited. If you guys are interested in buying a stethoscope or just want to see what they look like, we got the Cardiology 4 model. Um, it's a Litman. I'll leave a link in either the video or the description box down below um, to the company that manufactures our stethoscopes. They should be here by the time our white coat ceremony comes around. I'm going to try to do a video on my white coat ceremony and reveal the stethoscope color that I got. So tomorrow's our last day of orientation and a bunch of M2s or second year medical students are actually throwing us a mixer slash party. Should be super fun, but I'm gonna have to go ahead and do my laundry tonight so I could have something fresh to wear. With that being said, I will see you guys in day four. So I just finished my last day of orientation at school. I'm currently sitting here at this park near my house, just taking in the scenery and enjoying the beautiful Chicago weather. For our last day, we got to hear a talk from the president of our medical college. Then we had a picnic thrown by some of the second and third year medical students. So we got to eat and just chat with them about what their experiences were like when they first started school. So it was really interesting to get their perspective and just taken their advice. As I mentioned yesterday, we have a party to go to later on tonight. So I'm probably gonna hit the gym and then go get ready for that. First day of official classes start next week after Labor Day. So I'm just gonna take this weekend to really rest mentally and prepare myself before we hit the ground running and dive into the curriculum. I really wanna take the time now to thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I am by no means a professional vlogger and talking in front of the camera can be awkward for me at times so that's something I'm trying to work on. I'd really appreciate it if you guys comment down below any constructive criticism you may have. If you found this video entertaining or informative in any way, don't be scared to give it a thumbs up. And as always, subscribe to my channel for more content and follow me on my journey as I strive to be a fit MD. Until then, I will see you guys in the next episode.